Hello, this is Team WMW. Our team consists of Srishti, Imran, Shivam, Adire, and Pratyush from SRM. We are presenting the prevention of biofilms in the dairy industry. Biofilms are established under conditions that allow bacteria to easily adhere to the walls of the pipes. Here you can see how the formation of biofilm occurs from planktonic cells to a proper biofilm. This is a pictorial representation of the dairy industry. Biofilm formation is prevalent in the milk processing industry and the following areas. The bacteria may detach from biofilms and contaminate the milk as it passes over surfaces. Here you can visualize how the formation of biofilm in the pipe with a traditional membrane can cause reduced flow. Our idea is to prevent the growth of biofilms in the dairy industry by a membrane produced through sustainable material. Here you can see how the WMW membrane does not allow biofilm growth and has an increased flow. Our membrane properties arise from its distinct individual components. Cellulose acetate is the base polymer and it provides structural stability. Chitosan and titanium contribute to the antimicrobial and antifungal nature which ensures the prevention of biofilm growth. Incorporation of nanoparticles also improves the flux rate. Thanolipid provides fortification to the milk and biocompatibility. Here you can visualize the process of producing chitosan from shrimp shells. The FTIR test result confirmed the compound to be chitosan. Similarly, we were able to obtain ranolipid from seaweed and use cooking oil and cellulose from Cacharinus equistifolia. The WMW membrane starts by dissolving ranolipid in a solvent to which cellulose acetate is added. Next, a cross-linked composite of chitosan and titanium is added, creating a final dope solution. The solution is poured with the phase inversion method to make the final membrane. To evaluate the anti-fouling effectiveness of our WMW membrane, we compare traditional membrane versus our WMW membrane. Both were incubated in identical conditions with lactobacillus solutions. Fluorescent microscopy demonstrated how the WMW membrane showed no biofilm growth, whereas the traditional membrane showed an excess biofilm growth. The result proved the effectiveness of the WMW membrane in preventing biofilm deformation. The commercialization of WMW membranes, presently at Technology Readiness Level 3, exhibits considerable promise for furthering SDGs 9 and 12 by fostering industrial innovation and promoting responsible consumption and production habits. Further validation and scaling initiatives will be essential for advancing to TRL 4 and 5.